Oh, greetings, everybody. Wishing you all a good morning. It's Jeffrey Guterman here with the Stratomatic Network. And we are on September 18 in our 1969 replay. Moving right along on this date. We have the Cincinnati Reds at the San Diego Padres. It'll be Jim Maloney for the Reds and Clay Kirby for the Padres. Maloney has won 13, Kirby five. <clears throat> Let's look at our starting lineups here. For the Cincinnati Reds, it's Pete Rose in right, Tolan in left, center, I'm sorry. Alex Johnson in left, Perez at third, bench catching, Lee May at first, Tommy Helms at second, Woodward at short, and Jim Maloney the pitcher. Right-hander, 113 his quotient, minus two with bench. For the San Diego Padres, it's Jose Garcia at second, Roberto Pena at short, Ollie Brown in right, Nate Colbert at first, Van Kelly at third. Jerry Morales in left, Gaston in center, Canazero catching, Clay Kirby on the mound. And his quotient is plus one. <coughs> 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 and uh, start time five minutes. First pitch five minutes. I think we have two more games left in this date, on this date. We have Houston at San Francisco. That will be LeMaster for Houston and Bryant for San Francisco. And to let you know, I believe that the Giants are five and one half games behind Atlanta. E yes, six, six games. They need to win to bring it back to five and a half. Uh, and then it's Pittsburgh and St. Louis, the second of their two. And the Pirates won the first one to make give them a three game lead. So they're looking to make it four a big difference between four and two with uh, this late in the season. So this is a huge game for both clubs.
just a couple of minutes we expect it. Ah, to take the field. It's a beautiful day here in Fort Lauderdale. It's nice and cool here this morning, relatively cool for us. Got the window open. Got the breeze coming through. And the Padres take the field. Padres are one win away from losing 100. They are 51 and 99. The Reds are one game over 500. Good morning. I'm glad, Kathy, you have your coffee. Isn't that sad? Okay, we'll have another tribute game. Baseball demos, beautiful. Yeah, isn't that sad? That saddens the hell out of me. And uh, Ferguson Jenkins, who follows me on X, posted a very nice tribute. I'll read it to you all. This is from Ferguson. And now there is only 11. We have lost another member of the 69 club team. Kenny Holtzman passed away today. He was an outstanding pitcher with five world championships. He had equal to or better stats than Sandy Koufax. I'm not sure about that, but he had more longevity, I think. Uh, or at least pitched more. Should be in Cooperstown. Winningest Jewish pitcher in Major League Baseball. I don't know. I didn't know that. Shalom, Kenny my prayers and blessings to his family. Isn't that beautiful? So it's very sad. Very, 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 very sad. And leading it off is Pete Rose. Here's Kirby now. He's ready. The wind up, the pitch to Rose. That's a 6 4. Switch hitter batting left, grounds to third X. For Kelly, a 4 15. Good morning, uh, Phil. Good morning. That's hit to Kelly at 415. Two four, that's gonna go through for a base hit. An S2, he couldn't get to it on a 2 4, 6, 11, 13. And he's gonna boot it. Lord. An E1, it's going to be an S2 E1, my goodness. A single and an error goes to second. I don't know how, what, how that is supposed to translate into reality. Uh, I guess it would be a throwing error, but, you know, I, I really don't know. Uh, so Rose is on second to lead it off. Greetings to Phil from New York City. Here's Bobby Tolan now. From the stretch, Kirby. That's 5-4 left-handed, catch your X. Can a zero, a 2-4.
2422. It's a G1. Looks like a dribbler. 345 rare play on uh, Canazero E4. It's going to be a G1 rare play with a runner on second, mind you. The runner on first, the batter hits a ground ball to the fielder who starts a double play. The runner on first breaks up the double play, but the umpire rules interference occurred. It goes into the book as a double play. <coughs> Lord. That's shit. Wait a minute. There's no runner on first. I am so sorry. It's early, folks. It's early. With no runners on first, the batter grounds out with a runner holding. I am so sorry. It's early. So that was played by Canazero and Rose will hold. And here comes Alex Johnson now. That was a bit of a early morning fog reading. That is good coffee. Oh, Lord. Here's Kirby now. The pitch to Johnson. Oh, oh. 6 11 right handed. And that's going to be a base hit. Past the reach of Pena. Rose will go to third. It's first and third with one out. There was a 6-11 right-handed. And here's Perez now. Infield back for the double play. Okay, Kirby now trying to get out of this. The pitch to Perez. That's going to be 3 9. Right handed. Grounds it back. That will be. Let's see. Let's just double check here. I think first and third A. That's going to be a 2. And it is a double play. 1 to 4 to 3 is how we will score it. And the side is retired, so it's no runs, two hits, an error. One left on, Rose stranded a third. We've gone a half. It's Cincinnati nothing, San Diego coming up here. I see that Caitlin Clark was picked first in the WNBA draft ah. Ah. looking at major league baseball I got I got logged out of there I hate when that happens I have to log back in it takes a minute <laughs> But anyway, Yankees lost. Mets won. Uh, and if I didn't mention your team, let me know. Yankees 12 and 5 in first. The uh, Mets are 8 and 8, 500 ball. That's fine. Tell you the Braves are, are go off to another great start. Look at that. The Dodgers eleven and eight. They've actually lost eight games. Whoa. 
That's a good house rule, Demos. I am on my second cup right now. And here we go, bottom of the first. And Jim Maloney takes the mound. It's a good house rule. Even though we, I think it's important that we do have accountability for what we say or do. So, regardless of how many cups we've had, I hate to be contrarian. Okay, Maloney, he has won 13 games. He was 12 and five, had a good good year. He, I think he was already a veteran by now, was hurt some of the year. And I'm not sure that he really had many years after this of worth mentioning of, of great play, but here's Maloney facing Arcia. In fact, I don't think he was on the 70 team. I could be wrong. 4-4 four, four right-handed. That'll be a catcher X. That's going to be for bench. He's a 1-3. We got a question after this. Uh, top of the third, folks, from Kathy. Bench a 1-3. That's going to be 8-1. It's popped up. E3, 6-9-12. And he makes the catch. And that's going to be one out. Arcia retired. And here's Roberto Pena. Here's Maloney now. And the pitch to Pena. That's 111. Grounds it to third. And Perez has it. Throws it to May for the second out. Maloney pitched seven games in 70 for the Reds and a few in 71 for the Angels before retiring. Well, there you go. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Thank you, Dems. He was at the end, even though he had a good year this year. 69. 27 starts, 12 and 5, 2.77. I don't think there's anyone who was had better numbers than that. On the red staff. Two outs, here's Ollie Brown now. I think Maloney was on that 61 pennant winning team, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe not. Maybe not, I don't know. Here's Maloney now, the pitch to Brown. That's gonna be 6-4 right-handed. Fly ball center. Tolan, 3-11. He was, okay. Three eleven for Tolan. Sixty was his rookie year. Awesome. Three eleven. That's gonna be six three. It's gonna go through for a base hit. 
and that's two past total and 11, five, eight, nine. And that's gonna be a two out single for Ollie Brown. Ollie. One to 15, one to 13, one to 11 if he gets a lead. Let him have the lead. He's not being held. And again, he is a, and this is me from demos teaching me, advanced with the lead. He's got it, 1 to 15, 1 to 13. Actually, he'll be a 1 to 13. He's not going, and we're not holding him. That's the, that's the, you know, 1 to 13, 1 to 14. That's about the cutoff, and now I would have a house rule that he is being held. One, two, and three, four, five, six, he's not being held. I can't play both sides of the fence in some solitaire situations. So he is being held. I just don't want to penalize the defense every frickin' time somebody comes up who might be a risk, but is on the borderline, you see? So now Brown being held, uh, he does not have the lead. And that makes him a 1 to 11, 1 to 9, 1 to uh, uh, 5. So that puts him pretty tight to the bag. Here's Colbert. But the infield, uh, the, the runner is being held. That can, out, that can come out to play in the X chart, folks. It cannot come out to play on a plus. That's only for infield in. So it's two outs. Here's Nate now. Brown being held. Two outs. Here's the pitch. To Nathan. Two nine right-handed. Struck him out. Maloney gets Colbert swinging. And the side is retired, no runs, one hit. The single by Brown left on base, we've gone one, it's a scoreless ball game. Look at that, Maloney, Kevin notes, Maloney was traded to the Angels in December 71. You know, I might have remembered that vaguely. I was so into baseball, <clears throat> so into baseball. In fact, I remember, if I have the years straight, I think, I think Nolan Ryan's first year on the Angels was 72, I'm not positive. And I remember in 73, our family went on vacation and I had the set and this was already the second year of advanced Stratomatic. And I, all I wanted to do was play a game with Ryan. You know, I think Ryan's first year was 72 with them. We're going to move to the top of the second. It's going to be Clay Kirby here. He got into a little bit of trouble, got out of it in the first. He'll face bench. I remember those days. first year was 72. I remember it, it was, uh, I brought my whole Stratomatic set uh, to, on vacation. And I thought it was so cool. Ryan, I don't know how many innings he pitched. He probably pitched over 300 that year. In any case, here's Kirby now. 
Facing bench, top of the second. No score here. That's 6-10. Right-handed. It's a ballpark slash. Right-handed hitter. And it goes through for a base hit. So bench singles to open it up here. That's the thing about, you know, talking real world about the Dodgers with the personnel they have. It's very hard, I think, to, do, to not disappoint, not to have a disappointing year. You know what I'm saying? Anything less than maybe 110 wins and you're saying, well, what happened? <laughs> It's bench on first, not being held. Here's Lee May now. Oh, that's good coffee. Good, good coffee. Kirby from the stretch. And the pitch to May. That's going to be 210 right handed. Another ballpark slash. Right handed in San Diego. And that'll go through again. Slick infield there on the left side <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> and that'll be first and second. Nobody out here for the Reds. Now Tommy Helms the batter. 284 innings. Boy, that was a lot more than he ever pitched for the... I bet you that's more than he pitched for the Mets in all his years prior to that. A lot of freaking innings. Thank you, uh, Kevin. Okay, first on second, nobody out. Kirby in trouble again. Here's the pitch to Helms. That's going to be 5-5 five, five right-handed. Struck him out. So Helms is retired. That was a big one. Set up for a double now to end the inning. Subsequent years, Kevin, I, I, I am pretty confident he had over 300 in some of those years. Here's Kirby now facing Woodward. That's 4-8, right-handed. And that's a drive hit out for a base hit. Bench will score, May goes to third. Look at it again, 4-8, right-handed. Triple one to four, it's a base hit, two asteroids. Bench scores, and May goes to third. It makes it a one-nothing ball game. Kirby in trouble here. First and third, still only one out. Here's Maloney now. A seven and R. Kirby now, facing Maloney. Here's the pitch. That's going to be 2-9. Oh, my. It's a base hit off his own card. Oh, my. That'll score May. Maloney, a good hitter. 7-NR right off his own card. 2-9, right, uh, single one to 18. 326, 
Whoa, there's a lot of freaking innings, isn't it? Oh. First and second, still only one out. Now with a top of the order, and there's action in the San Diego bullpen. Uh, Padres won this one 7-1 in real world. And Kirby went all the way, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen today. Jack Bolchen, who is rested, is warming. See if he can, Kirby can get out of this inning here. First and second, still only one out. Two runs in, two nothing Reds. Here's Kirby now. The pitch to Rose. That's going to be 110 right handed. He walked him. And, you know, you just wonder when you are going to take a guy out this early, and uh, in this case, they're gonna let him face at least Tolan, and if he can't get Tolan, you know, he's done. I just, sometimes I struggle with that a little. Okay, here's Kirby now, the pitch to Tolan. That's gonna be 3-2. Uh, that might end the inning. There is nothing being held. It is a ground ball to first. With the bases loaded though, let me just pull out my trusty sheet here. Bases full A. And that's gonna be a two, and that's gonna be an inning ending double play. So he gets out of it. He's actually quite lucky. It was hit to first, stepped on the bag by Colbert over to Garcia to get Rose doubled, and the side has retired two runs, though, on four hits and a walk. And uh, he, I think he's lucky to get, a, get away with just two runs allowed there, if you ask me. Maybe you don't care uh, what I think, but that's, that's basically what I think. <laughs> and it's 2 nothing Reds. A relatively meaningless ball game here at the end of the season, September 18. Here's Van Kelly now. The pitch from Maloney. Whoops. That's 110 right handed, grounds to second, Helms. Throws to Perez, one away. Now Jerry Morales. That's going to be 5 6 right handed, walked him. Fortunately, I have an appointment with my primary care doctor on Thursday. That will be at 1.30 p.m. With the goal of getting back on my hypertensive medicine. I think that's been contributing to my anxiety. Maloney is 83 and he's still alive. God bless him. Yeah, you know, I have anxiety and I've read, I've heard, I've learned that anxiety can increase blood pressure and high blood pressure can cause anxiety. So it's sort of a double edged sort of a recursive loop. I woke up this morning, not with anxieties too much, but depression, but that's not unusual. And now I'm a little bit bad. I'm fine right now. Uh, <laughs> can you imagine if there was a an announcer for games who talked about <laughs> this shit I talk about?
<laughs> ah, thank you, Kevin. We'll get back on that medicine. And we'll keep fighting. We'll keep fighting for everything we, we believe in. Here's Morales on first with one out. It's a two nothing ball game. Cito Gaston at the plate. Here's the pitch from Maloney now. That's 4 8 right handed. And that's going to go through for a base hit. Morales will go to second. Keep fighting, babe. Absolutely. 4 8 right handed. Single one to nine. It was an eight on the 20 die, folks. Oh, well, Stratomatic uh, Demos, that is my, my regular dose of medicine. There are several drugs of choice that I use. I use Prozac. I switched from Effexor after being on an Effexor for 15, 18 years. My doctor worked with me because I once responded well to Prozac. Uh, so I've been on Prozac now for about two weeks. Uh, another drug of the choice is, is caffeine. I know that's not a good one. Cannabis and Stratomatic. Stratomatic is a drug. Okay. <laughs> You know, medicine is a euphemism for drug. You take Zoloft, okay. I might be good for Zoloft because it has a, a sort of a sedating effect. Why use a euphemism like medicine? Stratomatic is a drug. Okay. Why, why use nice words like medicine when it's a drug? It's a mind altering drug. <laughs> First and second with one out. Here is Canazero now. And don't forget, we got a question from Kathy after this inning. Maloney from the stretch. And the pitch to Canazero. That's going to be 2 4 right handed. That's a slash. Oh, boy, that's going to go through. I could tell already on the 20 die. 2-4, uh, ballpark slash, right-hander. And it goes through to load the bases. And now the big question is, do you let... Uh, do you pull Kirby... Some of you may disagree with it. He had 216 innings pitched. He lost 20, 7 and 20, but he had a 3.80 ERA, which for them is pretty good. We're going to let him hit here. I am not playing this like, you know, you know, go speak to the manager if you want. We're going to have him hit here. Like, uh, I'm not starting to pinch hit here because he had a bad inning. The clutch situations, well, it could be a double-edged sword there, uh, demos. So the bases are full. Here's Maloney now. Yeah, he's letting him hit, Kevin. Isn't that something? Bases full, infield back, the pitch. 3-9, grounds to third, and the inning is over. It's an A, and it's a double play. How do you like that? And please don't... Uh... Please don't add me on that. It's only the second inning, okay? 
and the side is retired, no runs. A walk, two singles, two left. We've gone two, and it's two nothing. I think it was Preston Gomez, but I'm not certain. Now we have a, uh, a question from Kathy Harden here, a trivia question. Let's get ready for it here. Here it is, folks. Wait for it. In 1979 World Series, this player on Pittsburgh went to about 30 times with no strikeouts the entire season. He averaged 38 at bats with no strikeouts. I don't think Foley was on that 79 team. Uh, Oh, maybe he was. Yes, I'm thinking 71. Yeah, Tim Foley. Yeah, great answer from Bill. Bill emerges. And it's going to be Bill and Demos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tim Foley. Was he the shortstop, the second baseman? I remember Tim Foley, yeah. He sounds like a guy who doesn't strike out much, doesn't he, the name? Yeah, the Mets drafted him, he was a shortstop, yeah. Great question, Kathy. And we thank you. And we also thank everybody else for participating. This, uh, I'm Jeffrey Guterman. This is the Stratomatic Network. And we're gonna take a little break here. He choked up a lot. I will be back in about two to three minutes. It's two nothing Reds. And Kirby will continue. He better frickin' pitch well. He better frickin' pitch well after we let him ground into that double play. I'll be back.
I am sorry, I... I, I missed, I, I read, read to my neighbor, and he happens to be my landlord. I always am very nice to him. Hey, Alex, how are you? And we're back here in San Diego, and it's Clay Kirby. They let him hit with two outs, bases, uh, one out bases loaded. And he doubled into, he, he hit into a double play <coughs> and uh, he better redeem it and show that he's worthy of <sighs> pitching still here Alex Johnson to lead it off it's 2-0 Reds and here's Kirby now and the pitch, 3-4, grounds it to second for Arcia. Over to Colbert, one out. Here's Tony Perez. He, he told me to put on some nice, clean clothes, of which I'm not wearing right now. Put on a shirt, of which I am shirtless. Take a walk over to the park. And there are nice ladies there, he said. I'm sure into meeting nice ladies. I do have to take a walk tomorrow to CVS to get my refill of my Prozac. But, you know, they say walking is great exercise and it's also great for your mental health. Okay. Is Kirby a vacuum cleaner brand? Here's the pitch to Perez. That's a 3-7. And that's right-handed, and he struck him out. You know, sometimes I have to look at the dice, you know, and I look right at it, and I, it says 3-7 to me, but my eyes, I'm, I'm just trying to process it cognitively. Is that a 3-7? Yes, it is. So Kirby retires the first two here in the third. Gets his second strikeout, and here's Bench now. Kirby gets the sign from Canizero. Here's the pitch to bench now. That's 5-7 right-handed. Grounds to Arcia X. He's a 3-22. Three twenty-two six three. It's going to be a G three pound irrelevant four seven ten E twenty-two, and he throws him out, and the side is retired. Well, there you go, Kirby. One two three suggests maybe it was okay to keep him in this ball game, but the Padres are going to need some runs here. It's two nothing Reds. Maloney got into trouble in the second, loading the bases as we were 
talking about. Oh, that's good coffee. Oh, top of the order, Jose Garcia leading it off here. Any of you hear that uh, sirens from the fire truck in the background? That's real world. Anybody hear that? That's real world. Okay, here's Maloney. He's ready. The pitch to Arcia. That's 1-7 right-handed. Grounds to short. Woodward to Perez. One away. Now here's it, Roberto Pena. Real world siren, yeah. Pena grounded to third in the first. Here's Maloney. One five and he chops it to second for Helms and he throws it to May, two outs. And here is Ollie Brown. Brown singled in the first left on. Three seven right handed tap back to Maloney. He fields it. And he throws it to May, and it's a one, two, three for both pitchers here. In the third, we've gone three, it's two nothing. Reds. He had a no hitter in 69, no kidding. I think I may have heard that. We move to the top of the fourth, Kirby taking his warm ups. We want to welcome everybody here to the Stratomatic Network. We appreciate the likes and the subscribing and most of all just being here whether you are in the live text or not it will be may helms and woodward for the reds here at the top of the fourth here's kirby now That's 3-9 right-handed. Oh, it's a blast. It's a ballpark blast on a five. Lord, 3-9 off Kirby. <laughs> In San Diego, it's a five. And it is, he is a right-handed hitter. That is gone. A solo home run by Lee May. And that's going to make it three to nothing. Reds. For Lee May. That's home run number 27. I think he's a bit under. Yeah, he had 38. That's only his 27th, but that's the way it goes. It's 
So the leadoff home run by May, and here's Tommy Helms. He got a hold of a Kirby fastball that hung. Tommy Helms, the batter. And the pitch, that's 1-8 right-handed. Oh, my. It's t Well, it's tapped back to Kirby. He throws to Colbert, one away. In a sea of trouble there, 1-8 right-handed. Here's Woodward. See if Kirby can get out of this with just the home run allowed. Woodward singled, left on in the second. Kirby winds and deals. 1-8, a fly ball to center. And under that is Gaston, two away. And here's Maloney. Maloney had the big single that knocked in a run. He's a 7-NR. It's to Maloney, 5-6, right-handed, fly ball center field for Gaston. He's under it, and he makes the catch to make the catch. And the side is retired, but another run. This time on the home run by Big Lee May. And we're heading to the bottom of the fourth. Three nothing Reds. Nate Colbert to lead it off here. Here's Maloney, and the pitch to Colbert. That is 5'11", right-handed, a fly ball to right field for Rose. He makes the catch one away. Now Van Kelly. Six seven left-handed. He grounds it to first, and May has it, and he takes it to the bag. Two outs. And now Jerry Morales. Two outs. Nobody on. Two five, and that is a drive hit out into left. Running for it is Johnson, and he catches up with it. Nice catch by Alex Johnson. It was a two five right handed double one to 14. It was an 18 on the 20 die. So it's a one, two, three, and that's going to be seven in a row from Maloney. We've gone four, it's three nothing. Here's Kirby now. His first endurance is the sixth. He'll face the top of this. Yeah, one, two, three again. Here's Pete Rose now. Rose singled with an error and walked. Singled left on third, walked and force and doubled up. I'm sorry. Oh. oh, Christ. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, here's Kirby now. And the pitch to Rose. That's going to be 2-7 right-handed, struck him out. Third strikeout for Clay. And here's Bobby Tolan. 0 for 2. That is 310 right handed base hit Tolan. A one out single. Now he went to 17, one to 18, one to 16 with a lead. He's being held. Let's see if he'll get the lead. Worth trying. Three to six, he gets the lead. And no, he does not. So, he'd be a one to 14, one to 10. He'll sit tight, being held. And it's one out, Tolan on first. Here's Alex Johnson. Stacking for the Reds. Here's Kirby from the stretch. 412 right handed. Oh my, it's blasted. Oh Lord, it's a ballpark blast. Now that may not go through. Johnson has the power. Again, look at that. 412 right handed ballpark blast. Ignore all of that. It's a 17 uh, right hander. And it's gonna be a fly to left right at the warning track caught by Morales. That would have been it for Kirby. It's two outs now. There'll be a hitter for Kirby next inning. We just let him go a ways. Here's Perez now. Again, two outs tolling on first being held. Tony 0 for 2. That's 3 6, and he flies it to left field. Again, it's Morales. This is shallower than the last ball hit to him. He makes the catch. The side is retired. No runs, one hit. And one left on. We're in the middle of the fifth. It's 3 0 Reds. Here's Maloney now. It will be Gaston, Canizero, and I can only hope a pinch hitter. Especially since his first endurance inning, Kirby, would be next inning, but whatever. Here's Maloney now. The pitch to Gaston. That is 6'11", right-handed. Fly ball right X, that's for Rose. He's a 1-4. One, 1-4-8-1, four. One, four, one, that's an F-2, gets to it. E-4. 5-8-12. On an E4, and he makes the catch, and that'll be one away. Here's Chris Canizero. And the pitch, 3-8. Struck him out. Oh, Maloney. Nine in a row here, and there'll be a hitter for Kirby. Now, this would have been a situation where you let him hit, but I've had enough. He's pitched five. Seven hits. He didn't walk, uh, he walked one, struck out three, allowed. 
three. Like I said, it'll be Jack Balchin coming in. And let's see who's gonna hit with the lovely two outs, nobody on situation. Again, the Padres won this one, seven, one, real world. They use no pinch hitters. There is a pinch hitter for Kirby. Yes. Yes, there is. It's a toss up, but it's going to be Ivan Morell. Actually, it'll be Al Ferrara. Al Ferrara, hoping for maybe a blast to bring him within. Two runs here. Al Ferrara. And here's Ferrara stepping in the box. Right-hander against Maloney. Like I said, Balch and Warming. Here's Maloney now. He's retired. Nine in order. The pitch to Ferrara. That's going to be 111. And he taps it to first. May picks it up and throws to Maloney covering the bag. It's a one, two, three inning. And he's retired 10 in order. It's still three nothing and there's a new pitcher, Jack Balchin. He recently died. I, I heard Larry Brown died. Larry. 10 in a row from Maloney indeed. I wonder which Larry Brown this was. Was this the Larry Brown who was the baseball player? Yeah, it was. <clears throat> Larry Brown, he played for the, uh, I believe it was Cleveland in this replay. And now he, he belongs in baseball. He is in baseball heaven. There he is on Texas. He was 84 years old. He died on the 13th. Yeah. A lot of Larry Browns. Wasn't there uh, the running back for the Redskins? Wasn't he a Larry Brown? Okay, Jack Bolchin comes in taking his warm ups now. Kirby the loser, Maloney the winner of record, 3 0. I'm going to go fill my cup with some more coffee here.
All right, here we go now. Baldshin. He'll face Ben Schmeyenhelms, top of the sixth. Maybe I will go take a walk at that park later and share it with some of you. Here's the pitch from Baldshin. 5-9, right-handed. Oh, my. It's hit well into the gap for a double by Bench off Bolchen. <laughs> a leadoff double by Bench. That's 5-9, right-handed. Wait a minute. Wait one frickin' minute. That was not, that was Miss Red. Holy cow. Oh, yeah, the girls. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm going to go where the girls are. Let's look at that again. That's a, probably a re-roll there. Not a re-roll, a re-read. And it can happen. Looks like it's going to be a ground ball short X for Bench there. Let's go to our instant replay here. Not that it's really needed. It was just a simple misread. Let's check it out again here. Here's Bench now. This is replay mode here. There's the roll. <sighs> that is going to be a 5 9, indeed. So that will be a 5-9 ground ball short X. Not a double. We were looking over here on 6-9. That's got to be careful there. So that's going to be ground ball short X, and uh, that's going to be for Pena 420. Four twenty eleven four. It's a G three. Pena E twenty six nine ten. It's going to be a G3 with nobody on, and he's going to throw him out. And I had kept this intentionally to get it like that. So there's one down. Yes, he did, Kevin. I, I remember it. He died in 23. He was 86 years old. Here's Lee May now, Bolshin. Quite alive right now. Oh, that is good coffee. Oh, Lord. May two for two, singled scored, homered in the fourth. The pitch from Bolson. 3 7 right handed, a fly to center. And Gaston is under it, two outs. And here's Tommy Helms. Helms 0 for 2. It's 3 0 Reds, top of the sixth. 6 8 right handed. That's a 6 8 right handed. 
And that's going to be a double down the line for Helms. A two out double on a six eight right handed. <clears throat> and here's Woody Woodward. Pitch from Bolchen. That's 4-8, right-handed, grounds it to third. Kelly has it, throws to Colbert, and the side is retired. So Bolchen, no runs. One hit, the double, left on. We're in the middle of the sixth. And it's still a 3 or nothing ball game. Maloney throwing shutout baseball. He's retired 10 Padres in order. And he'll face the top of the order. Jose Arcia, 0 for 2. Here's Bolchin now. <coughs> Excuse me. Tight <coughs> right handed, fly ball left. Alex Johnson under it. That is 11 in a row for Maloney. Is it Oberto Pena now? The pitch to Pena. That's going to be 111 right handed. Grounds to third. Perez scoops and throws it over to May. Two outs. And here's Ollie Brown. That is 12 in a row for Maloney. Four six right handed, triple one, and it's a whoop, that's a re-roll. Forget about it. That's a one five right handed. There's a base hit for Ollie Brown. He breaks the streak at twelve. Brown on first, and now he'll work from the stretch for the first time since the second inning. Maloney. It was a 1-5 right-handed. Brown, 1-15, to 1-13, to 1-11, to even with a lead, will not be held. Uh... And that would require him to go for the lead. He's not going to even go for it. Well, it can't hurt to go for it. But again, it's not worth it. Here's Nate Colbert. Colbert can bring the Padres right back in this ball game with one swing. He's 0 for 2. Here's Maloney now. And that's a 3-7 right-handed. And that is a drive hit out to center. Running for it is Tolan. And he makes the catch. Nice catch by Bobby Tolan on a 3-7 right-handed. Double one to four, it was seven. Side is retired. We've gone six. No runs, one hit, one left. It's still 3 nothing. Bolchin in his second inning of relief. It's going to be Maloney to lead it off here, top of the seventh. Okay, Bolchin is ready. And the pitch to Maloney. 2-5, oh my, a base hit. Second time he got a hit off his own card. And again, he's a good hitter. 7-NR, no surprise, too much of a surprise there. It was 
single. And here's Rose. Pitch to Rose, one, three, right-handed, ballpark slash. Oh, that's gonna be a 20. Whoever goes for it's gonna get that. Switch hitter batting left. And that is caught by Arcia. Nice catch by Jose. One down now. He's a very good hitter there, Kevin. Bobby Tolan now. Tolan one for three. It's Maloney on first one out. Balchin. 3-5, oh my, he hit the money there. That's a drive hit out way back there. It's dropping, it's rolling. Maloney scores and it's a triple by Tolan. Oh my, has Tolan been hitting this year? Oh my, that's gonna make it four nothing. A triple by Bobby Tolan. Again, three, five right-handed triple, one, two, 11. And it was an 11. No, oh, he had 10 triples. Bolchin now one hit or walk away from fatigue. Whoa. Uh, Gary Ross is warming. Gary Ross. He had 112 innings pitched. He had eight starts, though. I, I'll have to double check that to see if he's starting soon. Uh, here's Alex Johnson now with Tolan on third. One out. One in, four nothing now. Here's the pitch to Johnson. Three six, flies to center. This might score Tolan on the tag. It was a question mark. That'll be guessed in minus two, Tolan. One to 17, one to 15, he's coming home. Hey, Frank, how are you? And he's safe. He tags. They run batted in for Alex. Good to see you, Frank. Haven't seen you a couple days. Two outs now. Nobody on. Maintains endurance. And here's Tony Perez here. Pitch from Bolchen. That's 6-6 six, six, right-handed, struck him out. And the side is retired, but two runs. And that'll be a 5-0 ball game. We're heading to the bottom of the seventh. I'm gonna take a break for about two or three minutes, if you don't mind, Maloney, throwing shutout baseball. Lord, what a frickin' shit show. <laughs> it's a five nothing ball game, yeah. I'm talking about the uh, hush money trial. Karen McDougal, holy shit. I don't even know if I have any coffee left.
Oh, bear with me, if you will. Put them on. Put them on the stand. Too bad it's not uh, being televised. Be some good entertainment there. Uh, Maloney will come out, uh, but I'm taking a break for about two or three minutes just to. Where the hell is my "Be Right Back" sign? You know. Where the hell did it go? Christ. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. I'll be right back, folks. This is Jeffrey Guterman. This is the Stratomatic Network. Uh, I'm anticipating a game this afternoon. It would most likely be Houston at the Giants. Uh, and then Pittsburgh plays it in St. Louis for their final game. That's a big game. It's a break in the action. Uh, I'm Jeffrey Guterman. Thank you for the likes on the broadcast. Thank you, really. I see there's seven already. Uh, thank you for participating in the live text. You don't have to write in poetic language or anything just to say hello. Uh, and I'll be back in just a couple minutes.
This will be the first endurance inning for Jim Maloney, who is shutting out the San Diego Padres. It's 5-0. Not too bad. Ah, we are back indeed. Ah, here's Van Kelly to lead it off. The pitch from Maloney now. That's 4 7 left handed, and that is a liner to first caught by Lee May. One out. Look for an episode of My Glamorous Life coming up shortly. It isn't scheduled yet, where I will take a walk with some clean clothes to the park. where the ladies are, supposedly. Here's Morales now. That's gonna be 111 right-handed, grounds to third. And Perez has it, throws to May, two away. I'll tell you, he's been so tough today, Maloney. Ran into some trouble in the second, loaded the bases, but got out of it. Ah, when Kirby hit <laughs> and doubled up, Gaston now. That's going to be 2-7 right-handed, fly ball left for Alex Johnson. And it's a 1-2-3 again for Maloney. Throwing shutout baseball. We move to the eighth. Balch and uh, Maloney very strong today. Balch and now in his, uh, he has got two hits against him in his first endurance inning. This is his second and here's Bench now. Any combination of two hits and or walks, Balch and is fatigued. They'll hit for him in the bottom of the eighth if he makes it through. Here's the pitch, 6-7, right-handed. That's a fly to center. And Gaston is under it for the catch. One out. Here's Lee May now. Oh, that is good coffee. Whoa, even if it's not that hot. The pitch to May. 5-4, right-handed, flies to center X. Gaston, 317. 317, 15-3, it's an F2, gets to it, E17. 5 9 11. And he makes the catch. Two outs, two fly balls to Gaston. And here's Tommy Helms. That's 4-4 four, four right-handed, catcher X. <clears throat> That'll be Canizero. Chris, a 2-4. Pretty good fielder there. Two four three two. That's going to be a, looks like it's a dribbler with nobody on, WG. E4, let's see if he can get to it. 6-10-12. Six, ten, six, ten, 
and he does a WG is a grounder if I'm not mistaken a squib and the catcher throws him out so we're heading to the bottom of the eighth now Bolchin hits three innings allowed one run not too bad He allowed three hits. He walked none, struck out one, and allowed one. That was the home, uh, the actually the triple. And Tolan came home on a sacrifice fly. Three, four, five. I'm missing a a run here. Two, three. Oh no, he allowed two runs. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. And it will be Ross coming in to pitch the ninth. Chris Canazero to lead it off here. And there'll be a hitter for Bolchen. Bottom of the eighth, five nothing Reds in a relatively meaningless ball game in this 1969 replay. We play every game. We follow the starting lineups and the pitching rotations. Here's the pitch to Canazero. That's 4-8 right-handed, and that is a liner to short caught by Woodward. One out. Let's see who's hitting. I think it's going to be Ivan. Yeah, I have a funny feeling it's going to be Ivan. Here comes Ivan. Yeah. Ivan Morell. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, Morell steps in here. This is Maloney's second endurance inning. It's one out, nobody on. And the pitch to Ivan now. That's going to be 3-8. And he struck him out. That's the third for Maloney today. Back to the top of the order, Jose Garcia. Two outs, nobody on. Four seven right handed, double one to three. It's gonna be a fly to center for Tolan, and it's another one, two, three for Maloney. Maloney with a three, four hit shutout. We've gone eight, it's five nothing. Reds. And here's Gary Ross, new pitcher, third pitcher of the game. Okay, Ross is ready. It's going to be Woodward to lead it off. Woodward, Maloney, and Rose. Here's Ross. And the pitch to Woodward. That's 2-3. Grounds it to third for Kelly. One away. And now here's Maloney. Two for three. Singled in a run, singled and scored. And throwing a shutout. Quite a day for Jim Maloney. Here's the pitch from Ross. That's one seven, he struck him out. Two down, and here's Rose. One for three, a single and a walk. If you're looking ahead to the bottom of the ninth, it will be Pena, Brown, and Colbert for the Padres. They're down 5 nothing. Here's Ross. It's 3-4 right-handed. Grounds it to first. And Colbert scoops it up and takes it to the bag. And the side is retired. We're headed to the bottom of the ninth.
Jim Maloney, a forehead shutout. But Roberto Pena, 0 for 3, leads it off. Then it'll be Brown and Colbert. Here's Maloney now. That's 5-3 right-handed, grounds it back to Maloney. He's a 3-8. 3 8 4 3 it's a G3, gets to it, E8. 3 6 8 on an E8, and he throws him out. One down, Maloney two outs away from the shutout. Here's Ollie Brown, he's going for his 14th win on this, of the season. Maloney winds and the pitch to Brown. That's 6-10 right-handed, grounds to short X. Woodward, 330. This one isn't out yet. 330, 11 3. It's a G2. He gets to it. Let's see if he can hold on to it and throw it. 6 7 8 E30, though. And he does. Two away, and it's one, one out away from the shutout for Maloney. Okay, it's going to be Nate Colbert. Two outs, nobody on. Maloney now. The windup. And the pitch to Nate. One, two. Right-handed, single one to nine. Caught by Woodward. And the ball game is over. So quite a performance there for Jim Maloney. A one, two, three to finish it off. The final here in San Diego, and this is their, this is their last games together. Cincinnati five, San Diego nothing. Cincinnati takes both games of this two game series. The win to Maloney, his 14th. He went nine innings. He allowed one, two, three, four hits. One, one, two, three, four. He walked one, struck out three, a superlative performance shutout. Kirby gets the loss. Ross pitched one inning, retired the side in order. The final line in this ball game, Reds five runs, 10 hits, no errors. Pa uh, Pajis, no runs, four hits, and one error. We're going to have to put this one in the books, folks. Uh, this one belongs to the Reds. Thank you, Brandon. I'm uh, gl glad you caught the last couple of innings. I want to thank everybody who's been here in the live text, and even if you haven't been in the live text, Kevin, Brandon, Frank, of course, our Kathy Harden, 
Stack, Alex, Baseball Demos, Bill Ivamy, who got Foley, and Phil from New York City. Stay strong, everybody. Stay well. And I will catch you all next time. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. I'll be broadcasting that walk, maybe. Check back on my, uh, my landing page for updates on new broadcasts being scheduled. And stay strong, everybody. Stay well. And I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.